Welcome to the beer review of me, Jake. So today we are drinking a beer from Vault City. It is their Imperial Stout Double Mash Coconut Cream, coming in at 9.5%. It's a hot and humid, sticky night. So what better night than to uh, crack open a, a massively thick 9.5% Imperial Stout. Yeah, so this beer has been all over social media. Everyone's been going nuts for it and it just looks so crazy. I had to try it. The brewery themselves, they've been saying a lot about it. Uh, just how insane this beer is. Basically, it's so gloopy and thick, you need to shake it up. Yeah, you need to shake it so you can actually pour it because I did a little video today, I'll put it here. And as you can see, the it doesn't even look like a liquid, it looks like a solid. So, on that appetizing note, let's give a little bit of the spiel. So this is, uh, this double mash stout has a record length brew day, overloading the mash tun with huge amounts of speciality grains, heavy on the smoke malt for depth of darkness. To complete our creation, we've split the batch in two and finished with additions we think work wonders. This one is coconut cream. So yeah, apparently they've put so much coconut cream in and that's what gives it the ridiculously thick, viscous nature. Enough waffling on about it, let's uh, get it into the glass. Oh, I've got to do my little shaking action first. It, this just feels so counterintuitive, sort of, sort of vigorously shaking a, a beer. Do you see that then? There was a little bit of action there. I don't know if I've caught that on the camera, but we've broken it. We've broken the seal. I mean, not had too much from Vault City. I've had a few things on, on draft and at festivals and stuff, and it's been, it's been sours mainly. That's what they're known for. But let's crack into this, shall we? I think I might actually get a bit too vigorously. Okay, so we finally opened the beer after just a small, titsy, titsy, little, just a little bit of gushing. We, we have it open. Actually, not, not a lot came out at all, but I mean, look at that. It looks like there's a cork in it. Can you see that? Where am I? Looks like there's a cork. That's not. That's some sort of weird coconut foam stuff. Okay, let's do this. We pour. Don't tell me that's like... Whoa, and I'm pouring it all because I want to. Sad to check I actually did start recording again because that would have been a complete balls up if I didn't. Go go check up online to, to find out what double mashing. Come on, let's get all that in there. That is crazy. <laughs> what double mashing is, essentially is what it, what it says. It's two different mashes. One, one is the usual malt, and the next is like a, a cereal mash. And then mixed together essentially, and you produce beers like this. Well, maybe not quite like this. So, <laughs> again, I've got to show you a close up of that. Can you see this nonsense here? The brewery themselves have said that you, you've got to treat it almost more like a milkshake than a, uh, than a beer. I mean, this is this just looks so weird. I mean, the beer itself, absolutely jet black. I mean, I don't think I've seen a darker beer. The, the head is, I mean, I'm not sure what's head and what's coconut cream. It looks insane. Some people joke that they've got to use a straw and stuff for this, and I think they are, I mean, I'm swelling it. And not much has happened. I'm gonna get some in the, in the old facial hair here. Anyway, let's go for a sniff, shall we? I mean, it's pretty pungent. By the look and the whole sort of effort it took me to pour. It's actually not smelling like too ridiculous. Yeah, that, that smoke malt's coming through. Really bitter espresso. Dark chocolate. It's reminding me more of like a desiccated coconut or like a macaroon. Something like burnt coconut on the top. Then sort of coconut cream. I mean, that smells pretty damn good, actually. <laughs> I mean, how, how do you drink this? Do you just chuck it back, I suppose? Cheers. And that's, that's pretty nuts. <laughs> that's insane. That's, oh, I feel like it's just gonna be all around my mouth. Quite possibly one of the thickest 
beers I've ever had. I think that's a given. But saying that, it's not gloopy and syrupy, I wouldn't say. Hello, moth. Bye bye, moth. It's, it's creamy. Look what it's doing to my glass. I have to say, for all its gimmicky-neeness, if that's a word, and its craziness and the look of it, it's actually, it's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, for me again, I'm getting toasted coconut, getting almost like a maple syrup vibe. That's the, that's the level of sweetness I'm dealing with. That creamy mouthfeel is just something else though. Never quite experienced a beer like that before. As you get over the sort of sweetness and the creaminess, I'm left with a little tingling bitterness. Again, there's very sort of dark, bitter coffee. As I've had a few sips of it now, it is starting to feel a bit sort of warm going down. I think those smoke malts bring in a little, a little touch of like charcoal. A bit like sort of the taste you get in your mouth if, if you've been near like a charcoal barbecue. And, and that upfront heavy sweetness, all of that stuff, the, the sort of bitter coffee, the sort of charcoal, that, that counteracts all that sweetness and that crazy creaminess up front. I mean, it's just, it's just really drinkable. For such like a crazy gimmicky beer, it's actually ridiculously well brewed, well balanced. Just bloody delicious. Oh man, I'm so glad I got a chance to try this one. Really is insane. I can't just stop sipping it. It's just an enjoyable experience. I mean, I've drunk quite a lot of it. Just talking my absolute bollocks as I always do. I just wanted to drink it just because all of the crazy stuff I've been seeing online. And then actually, what I'm left with is actually a really damn drinkable, really good beer. And I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Would I buy it again? <coughs> you bet you. I'll give it another go. So this was Vault Cities. Imperial Stout. Double mash coconut cream. Coming in at 9.5%. Oven Jake. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. What, what are your opinions on this beer? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. And cheers.